Welcome back. So this is featuring silver eyeshadows. I wanted to show you guys that we women of color can absolutely and totally rock silver eye look. So the first thing that you guys know is I'm just prepping up my skin with the MAC Prep and Prime. And you guys already know what I do. I'm going ahead and I am just going to color correct for the dark parts of my face. I'm doing my makeup in a totally different way today. So the first thing I'm adding on, I'm going ahead uh, to highlight my face. And I'm using my MAC Select Cover Up for, uh, Concealer in NC45. And I'm just putting that on the highlight, on the parts of my face that I want to highlight. And because of this look, I want a sharp correct as in that contour has got a slope. So I'm going in and then just highlighting underneath my contour area around my cheek. And I'm also right now I'm going in with my contour foundation, which is BH Cosmetics uh, foundation in the shade Ebony. And then you guys are gonna see me going in with a foundation shade that matches my skin color, which is also the BH Cosmetics foundation, but in the shade Deep Cocoa. So now I'm going in with LA with the LA Pro Conceal in Warm Honey. First thing I'm doing is I'm blending out all my highlighted areas with my Real Techniques sponge. So before I use my brushes, I go in and I spray my um, my MAC Fix Plus on my brushes to allow me to really, really blend out the rest of my foundation together properly, as you guys will see me do later on. So now I'm going in and I'm blending my highlight and my face together with Real Techniques Buffing Brush. And now I'm going in with the Real Techniques Contour Brush and I'm using that to blend out my contour area. So basically I'm just taking my time and blending out each individual area to really give me a nice flawless finish. And now I'm setting all my highlighted areas with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Like I said, I want this contour to be snatching as in sharp as a nice to cut a fruit, you understand? So I'm going ahead and I'm just cleaning up my contour area with the setting powder. Yes! And now I'm taking my Real Techniques brush and I'm just, I'm not brushing away the setting powder, I'm just stippling it in so that it can really, really penetrate and bake properly whilst I do my eyebrow and my eyeshadow. Then I'll go ahead and buff everything out properly. So 
so like I said now I'm moving on to my eyebrows and this is just an eyebrow pencil that I actually got from like my local beauty supply So you guys know how I do my eyebrows, I use the pencil, then I go in and set the set it with a powder and then I brush it and blend it properly with a spoolie next and then I go ahead and clean it up with my concealer or the foundation shade that matches my skin tone, which is exactly what I'm about to do. And in terms of cleaning up my under eye, my under brow area, I'm going ahead and I'm using the select cover up from uh, concealer that I used initially at the start for my highlighted areas to clean up underneath that area. And then I'm gonna go ahead with BH Cosmetics the Deep Coco for the upper part of my brows. Now I'm moving on to my eyeshadow and for my eyes what I'm doing right now is I'm just um, priming up my eye with my concealer and then I'm going with this orange shade from this palette that I got off eBay really really nice and pigmented I really have to say I really can't remember where I got this palette from but um you can search any colorful eyeshadow you can use whatever shade you have basically for this look so I'm going in with this orange then I'm going in with a plum I'm mixing two different colors together a deep plum color and also like a deep purple color just to put that right just below my transitioning color just to blend that in properly so they can have like a gradient fit of colors And then I'm blending those two colors together with a clean brush. Now I'm going over to my eyelid and then what I'm using right now is the LA Jumbo Pencil in the shade Sunglass. And I'm just using that for my eyelid and then I'm going to go in with a flat concealer brush to really, really cut out my eyelid area, the parts where I want the neck eye color shade to go on, which is the silver that we're going to be working with later on in the video. Now, so I'm working with this silver palette from uh, Elizabeth Arden. I'm using the darkest silver shade in this palette. It's what I'm putting on my lid. Next, I'm going in with the two lighter shades um, in the palette. I'm using that right in the center part of my lid. So now I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow in the shade mm. As you guys know this is my favorite eyeshadow and I'm just using that in, my, in the outer part of my lid and also to blend out that color in my, around my crease area. I don't want it to be too harsh but at the same time we, we still want the color pay off so I'm just going back and forth with all the colors that I started off with initially. Blending out with the, with the dark chocolate color on the crease area and then putting back some of that deep plum and purple back up above the crease area and then blending in the orange as well. Just to the center part alone, I'm popping on some of the silver eye color shades that like I've over blended and I'm just popping that back on. And now I'm just gonna go off camera to add on my eyeliner and lashes because I can't do that for anything. I just can't do it on camera, it'll be a mess. Adding on some mascara. 
you guys can see me do, I'm going in and I'm just setting my contoured areas. It might, it will look ash to you guys, but if you've been watching my video for some time, you know that at the end of the video, I'm going to end up blending every single thing together and buff it all together. Like the buffing technique, you put on everything you want and then you blend it all out. I'm bronzing up my skin with the MUA bronzer. taking my powder brush. I have absolutely no products on this powder brush and I'm just using that to blend everything together and buffing it all together as much as I can. And I'm just adding in my, I didn't show you guys here, but I was just adding on my San Tropez bronzer as well. So I'm just going ahead and I'm lining up my waterline with the black um, pe jumbo pencil that I used earlier on and then every single color that I placed on my lid, orange and the dark plum and dark purple that I used, I'm placing that also. And now I'm setting and spraying everything together with the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix. And now I'm using the two light shades from the quads and I'm placing that on my tear dot. And I'm just popping in some mascara. And I'm just giving myself a very, very nice and subtle glow with this. Then I go in with the two light shades, the two bronze and highlighting shades, just to give me a really, really lovely highlight. And then I pop in two different kinds of lipstick, which will be listed both down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and you already know what to do. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye guys.